Hey everyone, in today's Wrath of Math lesson, we'll be going over one of my most requested topics. We'll be talking about K-clans and K-clubs in graph theory. These terms don't have a universally standard usage. What I've found after looking at lots of papers is most papers do not use both terms. Most papers use one or the other, either K-clan or K-club, to mean the same thing. So, when most papers refer to a K-clan or K-club, this is what they are talking about. However, I did find at least one source that does distinguish between K-clans and K-clubs. So, to start things off, we'll quickly recap the definition of K-click and why it leads us to define this other term, K-clan or K-club. Then, after that, we'll see what potential distinction we could make between the definitions for K-clan and K-club. But remember, what's most important is that you understand the definition for K-clan or K-club that is important to you, the definition that you're going to be using in your studies. And so, to that end, hopefully you find this lesson useful. Let's quickly start off with K-clicks. I'll leave a link in the description if you want a more thorough lesson just talking about K-clicks. Recall that a K-click of a graph G is a set of vertices C in G such that any distinct vertices U and V in the K-click have a distance less than or equal to K. So, if we look at this graph, what would an example of a two-click be? Suppose we start making our two-click with the vertex V3. Certainly, we could also include the vertices V2 and V4, because these three vertices make up a complete subgraph, so they definitely all have a distance less than or equal to 2 between each other. So this is an example of a two-click, however, we could still add some more vertices. And remember that some sources define k-clicks as being maximal. So in some papers that require k-clicks to be maximal, this would not be a two-click because we could still extend it by including another vertex. For example, we could include the vertex v1. The distance between v1 and all the other vertices in our two-click is less than or equal to 2. Still, the two-click is not maximal. We could still include one more vertex, the vertex V5. This is because the distance between V5 and all these three vertices is less than or equal to 2, and so is the distance between V5 and V1. However, there's something a little weird about the distance between V5 and V1. The distance between them is only less than or equal to 2 because we can travel from V5 to V6 and from V6 to V1 to get between them in two steps. In other words, V1 and V5 can only be in this two-click because there exists a path of length less than or equal to 2 that goes outside of the click. The vertex V6 is not in the click, but we have to travel through this vertex in order to get between V5 and V1 in no more than two steps. For many applications, this is an undesirable property for a K-click to have. And this is where K-clans and K-clubs come in. And like I said, from what I've seen, these two terms are typically used in different papers to mean the same thing. So one paper might call them K-clans, one paper might call them K-clubs, but they're typically talking about the same thing, which is a set of vertices that induces a subgraph of diameter less than or equal to K. This is going to solve the problem that we were just seeing with this two-click. Since these two terms mean the same thing for now, like I said, later in the lesson we'll see two different definitions for them, but since they mean the same thing for now, I'm just going to call it a K-clan. Remember that the diameter of a graph is the greatest distance between any two vertices in the graph. For a K-click of a graph G, the distance between any two vertices in the click has to be less than or equal to K, but that distance is taken with respect to the graph G. This means that paths between the two vertices can go outside of the click. In order to forbid that from happening, a K-clan requires that these distances be less than or equal to K in the subgraph that is induced by the set of vertices being considered. So revisiting this two-click 
Is it a two clan or is it not a two clan? Well, we have to consider the subgraph induced by these vertices. And remember that if we called this graph G and we called this set S, the notation for the subgraph induced by S is this here, G square brackets of S. I'll leave a link in the description to a lesson I did talking about vertex-induced subgraphs, but the idea is very simple. The subgraph induced by this vertex set just consists of all the vertices in that set and their adjoining edges. So this is the subgraph induced by S. So in order for this set of vertices to be a two clan, the distance between any pair of vertices in the set has to be less than or equal to two within the induced subgraph, within this subgraph here. This is the same as saying that the diameter of the subgraph must be less than or equal to two. Now we see how this set of vertices fails that restriction. Since we're looking at the induced subgraph, we no longer have that vertex V6 that allows us to travel from V1 to V5 in, at most, two steps. For a two-clan, we are interested in the distance between V5 and V1 in the induced subgraph. So to specify that, we might put in the subscript of D, we would put the graph that we're taking the distance in. So the distance in the subgraph of G induced by the set of vertices S, the distance between V5 and V1 in that graph, well now that is three. We have to go from V1 to V2, from V2 to V4, from V4 to V5. Since the distance between these vertices in the induced subgraph is greater than two, it is not a two clan. So we can't include both V1 and V5 with these other vertices to get a two clan. However, we can include one or the other. These four vertices make up a two clan because the distance between any two of them in the induced subgraph, seen here, the distance between any two of those vertices is less than or equal to two, so that is a two clan. Similarly, if we include V5 but not V1, this is also a two clan because we can travel between any pair of these vertices in at most two steps and we can do it while remaining within the clan. We don't have to travel outside of the clan to get from V5 to V2 in at most two steps, for example. We can just go from V5 to V4 to V2. So that's what a K-clan or K-club is. A K-click requires that any two vertices in the click have a sufficiently small distance between them. But that distance can be achieved by a path that goes outside of the click. K-clans or K-clubs do not allow that. They're the same thing as k-clicks, except their distance restriction applies to the subgraph induced by the vertices in the clan or the club. So that the distance between any two vertices in a k-clan or k-club must be less than or equal to k, even when we restrict all paths to remain inside of the clan or the club. I'd love to show some more examples, but I don't want this lesson to run too long, so let me know if you'd like to see me look at some more examples of K-clans or K-clubs, and of course, you can draw some graphs yourself and work through some more examples on your own. But we've got an alternative definition to look at before we end the lesson. So remember, like I said, from what I've seen, most papers use either the term K-clan or the term K-club to mean this, what we just went over. But I did see at least one source that differentiates between K-clans and K-clubs. So let's take a look at that now. So with these alternative definitions, a K-club is still the same thing. This is exactly the same as we just went over. A K-club is a set of vertices that induces a subgraph of diameter less than or equal to K. So that the distance between any two vertices in the K-club must be less than or equal to K, and it must achieve that distance within the induced subgraph. So only allowing paths within the K-club. The change is to the definition of K-clan. A K clan is a k click that induces a subgraph of diameter less than or equal to k. So it's the same definition as k club, except with the additional restriction that a k clan 
also has to be a K click. Now you might wonder, how is this any different from a K club? Because didn't we see above that a K club is just a stricter version of a K click? If you're thinking that, you're absolutely correct. The only difference comes in if K clicks are defined to be maximal. If K clicks have to be maximal, then a K club is no longer necessarily a K click. Notice some of the weirdness that happens with this new definition. Let's again consider a two-click. The vertices V2, V3, and V4 would be an example of a K club because the distances between any two of these vertices is less than or equal to two. However, it's not a two-click because it's not the maximal set of vertices with this property. We could extend it to also include V1 and include V5. That's what we started looking at at the beginning of the lesson. This is a maximal two-click. We can't include V6 since the distance between V6 and V3 is 3, which is greater than 2. So this is a two-click, which means it might also be a two-clan, since K-clans have to be K-clicks. Since we know this is a two-click, maybe it's a two-clan as well. But oh no, remember the rest of the definition, that a two-clan induces a subgraph of diameter less than or equal to two. We already saw how this set of vertices does not induce a subgraph of diameter less than or equal to two, because the distance between V5 and V1 is three. So this isn't a two-clan because of V1 and V5. Can we delete either of those vertices to get a two-clan? Maybe we delete V5. Now, the diameter of this induced subgraph is less than or equal to two, so this is a two club. So we'll write that here, replace two click with two club. This is a two club. But it's not a two clan because it's not a two click because it's not maximal. Since this isn't a maximal two click, it cannot possibly be a two clan. And this leads to the weird fact that there is no two clan consisting of these vertices or any subset of them. The five vertices themselves cannot be a two clan because they don't induce a subgraph of diameter less than or equal to two. And no proper subset of these vertices can be a two clan either because any proper subset of them will not be a K click because they won't be maximal. So with this weird definition, you have to ensure your set of vertices is a maximal K click before it can possibly be a K clan. So that's kind of interesting, but again, most likely you're going to be working with the definition we went with above. So worry about the definition that you have to work with, and I hope this video helped you understand what that definition is and how it works. Again, it would probably be helpful for you to work through some examples on your own with some bigger graphs. Let me know if you'd like to see me do a future lesson where we look at some more examples of K-clans and K-clubs. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. If you'd like to help support Wrath of Math, I'd really appreciate a small donation on PayPal or small monthly pledge on Patreon. Links to those are in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe for the swank math lessons on the internet. And a big thanks to Valo, who, upon my request, kindly gave me permission to use his music in my math lessons. Links to his music in the description. You always ask how I am What's it look like to you I'm sick of these plans They never tell me the truth